Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got a Samsung Galaxy J6, which in my opinion is a way better option than the recently reviewed A6 and is so much better value for money. Uh, it's unbelievable. Now there are some downsides and the specs are not as good as on the A6. However, I feel like for what you pay which is 202 pounds uh, you do really get a lot um, value for money now we're going to start as usual with an unboxing video um, so this is what you get in the box now as it is with samsung's the box contents is pretty generous we start with the quick start guide so if you're planning on buying for the handset for someone from the older generation uh, there is a manual for them explaining where to put the sim card in where the memory card goes because the phone does um, benefit from the memory card slot and so on and so on the next stop is your warranty guide which is two years in europe and the last one is regional log guide so the phone is locked to not only to a network, but it also is locked to a region like EU, Asia or USA. However, you can get it unlocked for free. And that's what the region log guide explains to you. You do get a box standard charger. However, it's not a fast charger as the phone doesn't support fast charging. You do also get the micro USB um, cable lead which makes more sense in a phone price like that that's the sim tray opening tool and you do get the headphones as well now as i've mentioned the micro usb cable makes more sense in a 200 pound phone than the a6 uh, nearly 300 pound handset but yeah that's the phone itself let's get the packaging off and let's have a look at it as it is with the all new entry mid layer range handset samsung claims it's an infinity display i don't think it really is but uh, this is how it looks like so we do get the power button the mono speaker to the side nothing really on the top we got, uh, got the fingerprint sensor the 13 megapixel camera on the back the led flash micro usb port and the headphone jack to the left sim tray memory card tray uh, sorry to the bottom sim card memory card tray to the left volume up volume down as well and when you pull the sim card and the memory card tray out let's start with the memory card so as you can see you do get a fake second sim card slot so for the asian markets you can get the handset with the two sim cards dual sim in europe or at least in uk we are getting the single sim variant now let's remove that disgusting sticker with the imei and let's look at the glorious back of the handset now i know it's plain black but it feels nice it doesn't feel very cheap or anything like that it feels absolutely fine now in terms of the operating system i do hope that samsung got a great yep and we are running on the android 8.0 which is very nice in 2018 considering that the p has been announced that is very generous of samsung in terms of the device itself we have a 3000 milliampere hour battery 32 gigabytes of internal storage let's have a look as far as i remember yep we do get the three gigabytes of ram um, so really nice again really generous and pretty decent for a handset that does cost around 200 pounds then we get the 100 mode which is always a nice addition in a phone that has a 5.6 inch screen uh, so we're not going to complain about that and obviously if we'd like to we can um we can use the 100 mode which makes more sense if you can't reach the top of the notification panel with your one hand the screen is how they call it hd plus which is 720p by 1480 um, so it's not full hd you can obviously play full hd content but not in the full hd quality in terms of display you've got the outdoor mode which actually boosts the brightness by quite a lot and to be honest 
It makes a lot of sense. The good thing is that after 15 minutes, if you don't use your phone, it goes back so it doesn't drain your battery, it goes back to a normal mode. Um, in terms of sound and vibration, there are a couple of features which I'm going to talk you through in a second. However, let's look at what we've got in connection. So we've got the Wi-Fi, NFC, if someone wants to use Android Pay or Samsung Pay and see we can tether as a hotspot now in terms of sound and quality if you do plan on connecting your headphones which those kind of make sense not only you do get the equalizer with denzel washington and the dolby atmos you also get the uhq upscaler and you can turn the adapt sound on which actually um, tries to adapt the sound to your liking and then we've got the UHQ upscaler which upscales and enhances the quality of your low quality mp3 um, files works pretty decent it does its job pretty well however make sure you've got your headphones connected in terms of the standard features on the samsung get the samsung smart things if you want to connect it to your fridge or your tally and that's about it in terms of the camera you do get the beauty mode you get the pro mode which actually allows us to change the value of white balance iso and exposure value so um, darker or lighter in terms of the picture quality 4x3 13 megapixels in terms of video only 1080p and 30 frames per second but then again let's not forget what does the handset cost now in terms of the front facing camera it actually has the samsung live focus which kind of blurs the background uh, which again i'll show you at the very end of the video if you'd like to you can edit the camera modes to your liking so you can move them around you do also get the bixby camera which means that if you point your camera at this let's say i don't know an apple watch or a box of cereal it will tell you it's a box of cereal and where you can buy it um yeah so that's kind of the full view as uh, the samsung calls it you also get the infinity display but considering how big the bezels are i wouldn't really call it an infinity display if you're planning on watching movies like that the true infinity display is mainly in the s8 and the s9 handsets so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye.